Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, quick note, these readings are for everybody, this is kind of like a general overarching theme, sometimes world messages, like I, uh, things that will happen on the wider world stage are what I talk about here, but very often it's about the energies that we are all going to be experiencing in some way, shape or form. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that like share and if you should so choose and it resonates the subscribe button if you are already a continued subby of mine you know I love you for it for those of you that came to the intuition activation webinar thank you so much for making it such a huge success it was my first ever one if you want to catch the replay for that there is a link in the description box below so you can check that out before we start as always I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So uh, I think we're all feeling a little bit lighter and brighter now that the sun is in Aries really sort of picking up steam there doing its thing uh, and you know with a lot of the changes that have come forward as well I think we're all feeling lighter and brighter. So when I went into my intuition every week I do uh, an intuitive message if you want to find out how I do this or one of the techniques that I use uh, in order to delve into my intuition hit that link in the description box below to watch the intuition activation webinar you will see one of the ways that I do this now the message that came through um, what I actually saw and I think this is because we're around Easter time so what I saw was um, an egg and that was you know it was wonderful but then uh, the whole scene changed and what I was looking at was um, uh, you know, I've forgotten what they're called, like, almost like an oyster shell. And when it opened, instead of seeing a pearl, what I actually saw was a clock and a watch. And what I understood from that to be is obviously, you know, pearls were uh, precious things. And one of the things that I believe in life for all of us, the most precious commodity that we all have is time. It's the one thing that we are not making any more of. It's the one thing that we are all subject to, the one thing that we are all slaves to in effect you know and I say that in the best way because I have no problem with aging I think it's a wonderful process um, and what I got from that uh, was to guard your time so what are you doing with your time what are you doing with the moments the minutes the small minute seconds that go into creating the life that you are living what are you doing with your time and how are you guarding that most precious resource that all of us have um, in some way shape or form you know in our lives then the whole scene changed and what I saw was um, you know the divers like when they're on these crazy high things and they do all these crazy backflips and stuff but the first thing that I observed when I was watching this person do that is like they took a moment to still themselves that was them utilizing the time and then as soon as they jumped off the platform like what's the first thing that they do they look for where they're going and this is the next message that I got from it look where you're going guard your time and look at where your actions, look at where your considerations, look at where your own energy and thoughts are actually taking you. This is a moment, this week I want you to take a moment, still yourself and ask yourself, what are the actions that I am taking right now, the steps that I'm taking right now, the actions that I'm putting into play, what are they doing? What are they creating in and of my life for me? Uh, you know, this is a really important moment, I think, for us to observe. Now that we've come out of some of the real craziness for this first part of the year this is a really good moment to ask yourself where is the current path that I'm on taking me so for our destiny card for the overarching energy and theme for the week ahead we have the temperance card right and what is the temperance card it's all about alignment what you do with your thoughts what you do with your time what you do with your energy but especially your inner resources how we meet and reach that energy of alignment uh, is all about how we bring into our lives or what we bring into our lives through the energy that we are emitting now in a lot of ways temperance is very much about that it's about balancing the external world with the internal world 
and you know the whole process of manifestation is very often a process it's not an event and this is one of the reasons people say oh you know I'm able to manifest something but I can't keep it uh, that's because the change that you make vibrationally to bring something into your life needs to be a permanent one if you want to maintain this thing maintain having this thing that you've manifested into your life your energy needs to stay at the same point that it was the, the same point that it was at when you bought this thing into your life and that's a really important part of the whole process the other thing as well remember temperance the word temperance literally means patience or comes from the latin temper which means to um i've completely forgotten the phrase now but the the basis of this energy is literally taking a moment of observation and then to maneuver yourself into that and when you take the time to be patient you know with yourself with the situation that you're experiencing whether it's one that you do like or you don't like you know is, is kind of neither here nor there but when you take the time or take the patience in order to consider what may need to be adjusted for you to move forward in the way that you choose to this is basically what temperance hints at and it's very much to do with the inner world it's about changing the um the vibration of the inner world what you're emitting out into the universe how do we best utilize this energy what is the direction that we can head in in order to enhance or change the vibration of what we're getting so the jumping card the first card out is the six of pentacles who is it that is going to be able to assist you this is another card of balance as well look at this you've got the temperance card which brings us that sort of duality energy we've got the six of pentacles especially in the right a weight deck this is uh, you can see somebody in this with the scales now in a lot of ways and please don't freak out when I say this, this could be a week where we see a lot of karmic payback, right? This could be a week where a lot of the actions that we've set into motion, the hard work that we've done could be making itself known in our lives, the energy that we've put out, the seeds that we've sown in previous weeks or months. This week, we could start to see those sproutlings. And this could be a really powerful week for people turning up, the people that you need to assist you, or you know, maybe not necessarily synchronicity, but definitely the result of the actions that you've put out. And this is why I say like that karmic sort of energy this week could very much be present. And you know, it's it's a shame actually, because now when we say this karmic, everybody kind of gets into that like, oh, you know, this means it's something bad. It doesn't, you can have good karma, you can have bad karma, you can have neutral karma as well, right? And it's really important that this week you understand the results of your actions, the results of what you've been doing with your time, what you've been doing with your actions the the direction that you're heading in all of this is going to become evident now in what and who shows up on top of that we've got the emperor card so for some of you for some people this looks like a wonderful week when it comes to the work to the profession this could be uh, benefactors showing up it could be bosses standing by you especially if you're in or have been in challenging situations and you've been working past them this could be a powerful week for that how do we best utilize the energy of the emperor well this is really about standing your ground it's not about being forceful like when people see the emperor they think Aries and when they think Aries they just think like you know hammer and tongs but at the basis of all of this the emperor is a ruler and rulers don't just um, you know go at things hammer and tongs they're not just walking meat pu you know meat puppets like uh, you know like when people think about the soldiers and stuff no disrespect to soldiers by the way um, but it really does for me, when I think of the emperor, I think of somebody that is strategic, somebody that knows what they're doing, something, somebody that takes their time to, you know, calculate what they're doing, to think about where they put their time, effort and energy. And more importantly, as a ruler, they know how to temper what they want versus what everybody needs. And I think this week, uh, you know, we could definitely see a lot of appealing to the better nature. I feel like this is gonna be a really powerful week for negotiations as well. I think across the wider world stage and some of the more hostile experiences that we've been seeing play out over the news, I think this week we're gonna see a lot of dialogues opened up. I think this is also gonna be a week where things, maybe not quelled, I don't think they're gonna be quashed, but I definitely feel that this is gonna be a week where a lot of the narratives that we've seen are gonna start to shift more towards building bridges. They're gonna shift more towards, okay, you know what, we can go down this 
this path, but we can also take things in a different direction as well. I think this is gonna be a great week for opening up dialogues. I think this is one of the best ways that we can use this energy. And then with the 10 of Wands, for me, the 10 of Wands is always a good card because it's the release of challenges and burdens. When it's coupled with the Emperor card, we could very well see this week that um, something of a almost like of a, an official nature it's and I don't see like I said I don't see this is going to be things squashed I don't see anybody standing down but I do see a lot of this energy where people are thinking okay well what's the bigger picture here what can we do that is going to take us out of what you know where we are but you know where nobody has to really give in if effectively now on a personal level you know that's the wider world stage on the macro uh, on the microcosmic level for us on a personal level this uh, the way that we can utilize Utilize these three cards well the six of pentacles is asking you where can you compromise where is it that you are able to compromise this is not saying you know the emperor is in the middle here and what he's saying is there are things that I cannot or will not let go of right and that's fine there are things that need to be uh, you know some things are set for us as my magical mama used to say some things are set for us and not by us right so where is it that you can compromise where is it that you're not you're not where is it that you're refusing to compromise and then with the 10 of wands where is it that you are ready to say what needs to be said but to release what no longer has a place so this week i do feel like any, everywhere that we've seen this kind of hostile energy this week there's going to be enough dialogue there's going to be enough energy in the air for people to really say okay you know what i can change this somehow you know I, I i don't have to hold true to absolutely everything um which is great so the jumping card is the four of wands love it uh then we have the king of swords this is nice all right and then we have the two of pentacles so uh this is good news i believe for commerce especially for international trade uh, i think we're going to have a lot more talks about events this week i think we're going to hear that a lot more events are going ahead over the course of 2021 i think we're definitely in line for a lot of that happening over the course of the summer right through and up until and including actually into august uh, past then i think it's going to get a little bit sketchier but you know we'll talk about that when we get to it so as an insight energy of what's coming in lighter and brighter days better news about events this is coming in uh, some legislations that are either going to be eased or put in place to make sure that things can go ahead even if that means reduced numbers and then we have the two of pentacles so this is what tells me about the commerce side of things i think we're going to see a lot of uh, really great things introduced in that regard now how do we break this down on a personal level well in a lot of ways this is for and i think for a lot of people this is just going to be not only a feeling of ease but i think this is going to see a lot of people starting to understand that the way that we work the way that we work personally the way that we work as a, as a race from here on in going forward is really going to change and i think a lot of the changes that start this week a lot of the dialogues that we see opened up over the course of this week when it comes to trade when it comes to commerce when it comes to work how we view work what we want to do with it you know the directions that we want to go in i think a lot of what starts now we are going to be seeing unfold over the next two years that's the two of pentacles now the other thing with the two of pentacles when it comes to finances money and materials i think we are going to see some advancements there again i've been talking about this whole thing with crypto for a while if it's not something if it's something that you know nothing about I'm not saying go and become a whiz. I'm not saying go and pick it up and start investing heavy sums of money. What I'm saying is get yourself clued up now because we're gonna be seeing this within the next two years, you mark my words, there are gonna be some very big changes on that front. Get ahead of the curve, get an understanding of what this is gonna mean for all of us in some way, shape or form. And then finally, what I'm also seeing here as well, because we've got the King of Swords in the middle there, very interesting as well, even though they're very different energies the king of swords would be the legislation the paperwork the um the rules and the regulations in that regard like you know the the paperwork aspect of it or the law and the emperor would be where that is enforced so i find this really interesting that we've got kind of like a, a legal energy that runs through all of this in some way shape or form 
all of this of course under the guise or the auspices of the temperance card and this kind of says to me that on many levels on a personal note everybody is ready for change but i think more than more than anything else I think what really is starting to happen this week is people are starting to honour what they need on the internal just as much as what they need on the external. And I think, if anything, that's one of the best things that will have come out of this whole pandemic situation. People are really starting to understand and consider more deeply than ever before what they actually want, what they truly need and what their desires actually are. And getting in touch with those is how we make the changes on the internal level because when you when that realization comes in your energy it can do anything but switch and change and that's when you start to bring in or welcome in or at least align yourself with the things that you truly do want on that level so with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments do you love it do you love it where does this show up in the world i absolutely love it when you guys post links to articles and videos uh, about the predictions that i make uh, especially for the wider world stage stuff i don't really i'm not really that plugged into the news i have to be honest just because of the way that i kind of feel it's divisive by its very nature um so i love it when people update me with stuff and then you know i'll go and watch it or i'll go and read an article and i'll be like oh yeah okay that's where it's showed up all right so with that said take care and i'll see you soon